And we're going to need to set up uh, some automated bio brick creation. Is going to be our next major task. But we've got this limestone here. We have copper here, which used to be my copper mine, and I removed it. We still have the iron production happening over on the side over here. And that's going to have to be removed and rebuilt. And I'm going to have to get bio bricks to be automatically generated and then go into uh, both of those um, mining veins so that I can run my drills off of the bio bricks instead of having to do biofuel left and right. As you can see, I've gotten rid of my entire factory, what little bit of a factory I had, and place floors all the way down so I have a nice working area for my factory. And let's go ahead and build this automatic bio brick production system. The first thing I'm going to need is I'm going to need a miner for limestone. So let's put a miner here. And then I'm also going to need fuel to go into this particular miner. So why don't we put down a conveyor belt and an inserter that will feed fuel. I also need limestone coming out of the machine. So let's put down some inserters that are facing outward. And I think because at the rate in which they produce, I want to have one fast and one regular inserter. And then I'm also going to need a conveyor line that is going to be my export conveyor line. So that's going to go this direction. I'm going to need some sort of fuel coming in. So let's have a fuel line coming in this way. And in order to pick up fuel from that fuel line, I am going to need a long inserter. A long inserter that is going to pick up from that second conveyor belt where the arrow is and put it on single conveyor belt and inserter process. Some light right here would be good. Okay, now I just need to replicate this multiple times. And this is kind of the final product. Well, let me put down a little bit more light. All right, perfect. Now, if you're looking at this and saying, oh, that looks like so-and-so's or whatever... Yeah, you're absolutely right. I did some research, and honestly, this is the best way for this miners, these miner configurations, this is the best setup for it right now. I think when I get to Mark II miner and a Mark II belt, this is going to have to change. But currently, right now, for Mark I and Mark I belts, this is the setup that you need to do. Okay, let's get down our plant production area. So our plants are going to be producing kindle vines and then the kindle vines are going to be threshed into kindle vine stems and the kindle vine seeds. And then we're going to need some sort of extraction from the machine and they don't come out that fast. They, they come out okay, but let's get some sort of extraction here. And then we're going to need a conveyor belt that is going to feed to another area somewhere down here. I don't know where. And then on the other side, we need to feed in Kindle Vine seeds so that it can be like a, a self-propagating, endless kind of cycle. So let's feed seeds into here. All right, now we need to reproduce that and duplicate it on the other side. Okay, something like this. Now, I did move it over because I, I found I had a little bit enough room over here to be able to stick it in this corner. So let's go ahead and light this area up a little bit. All right, now that this area is all set up, it looks pretty good. We have our Kindle Vine seeds will be on this track. And this track is just a circular track going around and around and around. And it will feed all six of these planters. The extraction, which is the Kindle Vine plant itself, is coming out and will be on top of this particular line. And so these will be coming out really nice. And then... We need to do some threshing. So we need to have a thresher, I believe right about here and have the thresher converting over our Kindle Vine plants. Let me get our thresher selected into Kindle Vine seeds and the Kindle Vine sticks or bundle, whatever it's called. So we're gonna need to have an inserter that is inserting into here. And then we're going to need a filtered inserter, which is going to be extracting the seeds onto this line. 
And now our output, which is going to solely be the bundles are called stems, the Kindle Vine stems. So let's get a conveyor line, export out the stems, and we're going to filter export those as well. We're going to test this part really quick. I'm just going to load up one of these, one of these plant machines, and then we'll see what happens. We'll wait a little bit of time, see what happens. I need to figure out what the production rate of this Kendall Vine stem is going to be. Yeah, okay, so the output is a 3 to 1 ratio. I'm getting one seed and three Kendall Vine stems. Let's put down another threshing unit. We need to convert the Kendall Vine stems into plant matter and Kendall Vine extract, and that is a 3 to 3 ratio. So we're going to feed this thresher the Kendall Vine stems that are coming out of here. So I want the output of the Kendall Vine stems coming out in this direction. So I put down these three filter sorters and I'm going to want to have the plant matter fiber coming this direction. And the Kendall Vine extract, I want it to go this direction. And then I'm going to need to export two of these guys because it's coming out pretty fast. And we'll have these filters pumping out Kendall Vine extract. We also need one on the front up here, extracting some Kendall Vine as well, the Kendall Vine extract as well. So we'll put another filter up here. All right, so let's look at it. We have our plant matter fiber coming this direction. We've got our Kendall Vine extract going this direction, off probably just some smelters. We're producing enough silver thorn th stems to be able to run another machine. So let's get a conveyor belt that's going to go over and we'll have this go into another thresher okay all set up duplicated right so plants to stems and seeds stems and seeds to plant matter and extract times two because i'm doing it twice now we need to deal with our silver thorn extract silver thorn is going to get converted or the extract is going to get converted over to uh, limestone inside of the smelter. So we're going to need a smelting unit. We'll put this smelting unit right here for now. And we'll have the extract coming in on this side. And we need an output for the limestone. So I think our output for the limestone is going to be over here. And then we need some sort of input for fuel. So this, this machine is going to run itself. Because we're going to be creating biomass bricks. And we're also going to be creating plant fiber. So let's see if this works. Let's, let's make this a limestone line. We're going to need limestone coming in. And we'll run the limestone line something like this let's do fast inserters into the smelter okay and then we'll do it's going to output limestone so let's do a fast inserter out of the smelter and then this is going to be bio brick or fuel some sort of fuel power so we'll just do a regular inserter coming in Okay, that's one portion of this. I need to replicate this. Alright, I have this replicated. Let's put some light down so we can see what's going on here. Okay, I put down lights. We can now see. And let's figure the rest of this out. So, let me hook up the limestone. And get the limestone connected correctly. So our limestone is going to come from here. It's going to come over this direction. Around the plants. It's actually going to hook up to this line right here. Alright, that's our limestone line. So our limestone is coming in. And it's also coming out from both smelters. So now. Now what do I want to do? I want to put down the assemblers that are going to convert over our plant matter fiber into plant matter. So this, let's have two go side by side as close as we can. 
So this is plant matter fiber, and I want it to curve around like this. And then we want to put inserters in here. And have the inserters go into the assembler. We'll have four feeding the assembler. And we'll have four feeding this assembler. Good. But these are going to need to have outputs. This is going to be the plant matter. So we're going to have four outputs for plant matter. And we need a belt for that. This belt will go here for now. This is going to be our limestone. And our limestone will come right next to the plant matter. Something like this. Good. Now we need the assemblers to make our fuel. It's just going to be one assembler for now. So it's going to take in our limestone. And it's also going to take in our plant matter. So belt going in, plant matter, plant matter will come to a storage. The storage is then going to store bio bricks and it's also going to store plant matter because I think we're going to have an excess of plant matter because of the, the rate in which plant matter is coming out. Good. Now, our output is going to go actually a couple different directions. Our output needs to go this way and over here somewhere and run back down this line right here. I also want this line to come and connect back over here, but we'll have this fuel connecting up with this guy down here. Perfect. Good. So fuel's going to be split. All right, let's see if we've got this all correct, because this is a little crazy. This is going to be bio brick. This one is going to be plant matter fiber to plant matter. Plant matter fiber to plant matter. We need to preload this with some power so that it works when it gets to it. So let's... Let's see, I have some... I don't know, I have, <laughs> I have a few things. Let's, let's give it, I split this in half. I'll put 12 in there and 12 in this one. It should run long enough to, by the time we make fuel, right? It's already creating some limestone here, right? So there's limestone being consumed and being used. Limestone's going through. Limestone would then be grabbed by that unit down there. And then this is going to turn around. It's actually going to give me fuel. But before we do that, I'm going to break this line. I want, a, I want double storage. I want to break this line right here. And I want to have another storage facility down here. Why? I, I don't know. I just feel that it's right. I feel like having more storage for fuel is... Probably easier to move it right into like better places or something. So let's have let's correct. Let's have an insert go here, insert go here, insert to come out here and here, and then we'll have our line, and our line will be connected. It'll be connected here, but I'm not going to connect it just yet. I'm not going to connect it just yet because. I want to make sure all this works before we do the limestone. And then also, the limestone, I have an abundance of limestone. So I want to use up that abundance of limestone. I no longer want to store the limestone. So where is it at? Yeah, it's in here. You're talking crap ton of limestone. Also plant matter fiber. And I don't know if I need plant matter fiber after this point. And then take the limestone from here. And I'm going to marry it up with the limestone line. And then we'll take a line. I don't want to hook it up just yet. We'll take a line and we'll connect this line to this. Good. And then that is going to be my limestone line. 
All right, let's get part of this functioning. I have enough Kindlevine seeds. So let's fill up these plants. We'll fill up the planters. I said plants, let's fill up the planters. And I'm going to wait for that to happen and then I'm going to re manually refill it so we do it twice. Because it's going to take a while for this to process and then for the seeds to be able to get back on. And actually I need the output for the seeds. I'm surprised I didn't have an output for the seeds. I think I got rid of it. And let's set that to Kindlevine seeds. Okay. And now some seeds are going. They're getting put on the belt. I think I had four maybe. These are all being extracted. Let's plant these guys. Get all these guys replanted again. All right, this part is working. Should we be feeding two arms in here? Is it a one for one? No, it's a two. Maybe we should have a second arm down here. Let's put a second arm down here. Okay, we're going to have it load up like this. I hate the fact that it's hanging off the belt like this. But, okay, whoa, whoa, what can I do, right? Okay, seeds are coming out, good. These guys are threshing, good. These guys, they're making limestone, good. And we see some bio bricks coming in, bio bricks are coming in, good. Plant matter is being made, and it's also being consumed. Why aren't these guys storing our bio bricks? Bio bricks are going off. They will be going in for the limestone, but not right now. Plant matter is being consumed. This is all good. This is all good. The only thing I don't understand is why these... These guys are not... Do I have them the wrong way? I had them the wrong way. Okay. Okay, if there's any leftover plant matter, it will come through and be picked up by this. Good, we've got some fuel a little bit backed up. That means these guys are not going to run out of fuel. Let's get some limestone into the business. Let's, let's connect up this limestone line. Perfect. Here we go. More limestones coming in. Uh, I guess if I run some power cables over there. How about we just... Since I don't have power... How about we just... Flub it really fast. And we'll put... Inserters this way... And this way, good, okay, all lime- six limestones will be coming out one time. Good, that'll make that move a little bit faster. Okay, so limestone's going the right way. It's doing its thing. Seeds are going out, things are getting replanted. Probably could use some more seeds on the conveyor line. I don't know how quickly that that's going to get backed up. I don't know if this is 100% efficient because it doesn't seem like there's enough seeds that are coming out. But it really doesn't matter because it looks like to me... That we're not consuming the vines quick enough. Yep, these guys are doing his thing. It's just moving as fast as it can. Okay, limestone production got backed up. I'm okay with that. We have enough limestone going into the facility. We don't have enough biomass coming out. Plant matter coming out. Alright, I want to do a little bit of fixing. I'm going to break this connection so that it can run out of limestone. And I'm going to get rid of these two inserters. Once the limestone is out, I'm going to get rid of these two inserters and then... 
that'll break the connection for generating uh, the Kindle Vine stems because like I said I've got I'm producing 30 a minute these threshers use up 10 a minute so I've got enough for three so I need one more one more thresher combination okay finally readjusted everything and I got everything down I think it's working pretty well so the only thing that I did was I added another thresher in here because this was this first pr thresher was producing 30 of the stems per minute and that means I could run three of these thres threshers since they were only taking 10 stems per minute and then I have an additional assembler creating the plant fiber or the plant matter and then the plant matter is being fed into this last assembler along with um, limestone and that is producing my bio bricks so that's kind of the whole setup hopefully this video makes sense but there's the automated bio brick production and you can see I'm just absolutely pumping out bio bricks and they're getting stored into this facility eventually it's gonna back up and I'm gonna have enough bio bricks for everything the next part of the process will be to then turn around and run this fuel over here to the copper area and start producing copper and then back over here to the iron area and start producing copper or start producing iron off of these bio bricks and then taking both of those lines the copper and the iron and I think probably running them down this way and starting some sort of mall I think it's probably gonna be the best thing to do is to take as much space as humanly possible and just run the lines like down here we'll smelt the copper and iron somewhere in this area and then we'll have our mall process started over here and hopefully we will have enough room to expand our mall out to be as big as we want to be now this area can be used and then also we've got a little bit of this area over here that can be used for the mall and get all of those items done and then we can go back and start looking at these other you know radio beacons that I need to get to before they start yelling at me <laughs> all right well if you haven't already hit that like button if you're not a subscriber please subscribe would love to have you in the community if you want to follow me on any of my social media you can find the links in the description below and make sure to hit that notification bell that way you know when I go live and when I post new videos I'll talk to you soon thanks a lot bye-bye